Hello, Grade 9 learners. Welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to confidently tackle ECZ Integrated Science Exam questions. Today, we're looking at a question from the 2019 Paper 2, focused on the human body. Let's dive right in. The diagram shows a fetus in the uterus of a pregnant woman. Here's the question. It's about understanding the structures and processes involved in human reproduction. Let's break it down, question by question. Section 1, Part A. Identify the structures labeled G and H. Step 1. Study the diagram carefully. Structure G represents the placenta, and H is the umbilical cord. The placenta connects the mother and fetus, allowing the transfer of oxygen and nutrients, while the umbilical cord acts as a bridge for this transfer. So, remember to use the correct biological terms and relate them to the functions. Section 2. Part B. State the function of structure I. Structure I is the amniotic sac. Its function? To protect the fetus by cushioning it against physical shocks and maintaining a stable environment. When writing your answer, keep it clear and concise. The amniotic sac protects the fetus by cushioning it and maintaining a stable environment. Section 3. Part C. Complete the stages of embryo development by filling in blanks 1 and 4. Here's how you approach this. The stages of human development are 1. Zygote 2. Embryo 3. Fetus 4. Baby The first stage is the zygote, which forms right after fertilization. The final stage is the baby, the fully developed form, ready for birth. Write this sequence correctly for full marks. Section 4. Part D. If the fetus in the diagram was conceived on the 20th of February this year, predict the delivery date. This question requires some simple calculations. The average pregnancy lasts 40 weeks, or about 9 months. So, count 9 months from February 20th. February to November equals 9 months. The predicted delivery date is the 20th of November. Easy, right? Just remember the 40-week rule. And that's it, learners. I hope this breakdown makes it easier for you to approach such questions. Don't forget to practice, stay confident, and write concise answers using scientific terms. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and share it with your classmates. See you in the next tutorial.